ladies and gentlemen, and all of you at home. Um, I'd like to first thank Century Cable for coming down here and videotaping this public service uh, debate. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, for all of us to watch, uh, hopefully tomorrow night on television. Um, this, as Betty said, this is my second time moderating, and I'm not really used to it. I'm a nurse anesthetist at Kaiser Permanente in Harbor City, so I'm really out of my realm. Uh, but I just love this, and I'm so glad that they asked me. Uh, my dad took the tape from the last candidate's uh, debate, and he's made the postage man hostage, the milk man hostage. <laughs> they all have to sit and watch his daughter. Uh, he's back in Boston with the rest of my family. Um, I'd like now to uh, introduce the candidates. We have Michael Ford. Michael Ford is running for City Council in District 2. We have Kay Horrell, who is running for City Council in, also in District 2. We have Frank Bostrom, who is running for Mayor. We also have Brad Parton, who is running for Mayor. And we have, it's Oh, isn't this awful? You first know your first name. Val. Valerie. And you know, I know her name is Valerie. I was going to call her Val because everybody does. Val Dombrowski. She's running for city council in District 4. And we also have Terry Wad, who's running for uh, city council in District 4. By making a mistake on Val's name, maybe people will remember her better. See? <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead now and just tell you a few of the ground rules. The, each candidate will have a minute and a half as an opening statement, and then I'm going to ask questions from the fishbowl. Now, we have an awful lot of questions tonight, uh, and a lot of them are lengthy, and I'm, I know we're not going to get to them all, and I'm going to be very impartial and just pick a question without looking. Hi, Steve. Um, so uh, the candidates will have one minute to answer the question, and we will go in order. Uh, and then at the end of the debate, we will have each candidate give a closing statement for one minute. Okay, and we hope to be out of here by 9 p.m. Is everybody in agreement? And if you can't hear me, or if I'm too loud, please tell me. Thank you very much. <laughs> This question is to Frank Bostrom. Um, I thought we were doing... Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. you know, Kay Harrell had to correct me last time. I don't know why they asked me back. I'm sorry, Kay. That's okay. I, I thought you said okay. I did. I did. I just don't listen to myself. Uh, we're going to have Michael Ford from District 2, and he'll start with his opening statement. Yes. May we have Terry Ward. Thank you very much for having me here tonight. And I realize you're from Boston, but it's Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Ward, uh, running for City Council, word. District 4. <laughs> you can call me Ward anytime you want. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. Ward. <laughs> I'm going to start now. I'm going to pick a question from the fishbowl. As I said before, I goofed up. This is to Frank Bostrom. We really wanted our questions for all of the candidates, not just for one. Um, may I address this to Frank Bostrom, Kate? Yes? Okay. Well, I don't know what the question is, but it says to Frank Bostrom. Uh, this is a question from the audience. It is not a question from the uh, parents, teachers. Uh, how much money has the uh, preservation of the 11, it looks like 11.2 acre aviation site cost the taxpayers to date? And how much more money do you plan to pour into it? Question mark. Mr. Bostrom, I'm sorry, it's for you. <laughs> 
The city has spent over $200,000 in consultants' fees to study what to do with that. Thank you, Mr. Parton. Now I have a question from the fishbowl. And I'd like to start this with Terry Ward. Uh, I'm sorry, Terry. I'm from Boston. Bear with me, honey. <laughs> What would you like to see Pacific Coast Highway look like in 10 years? What are your plans in accomplishing your goal? Thank you. Well, as I told you before, I'm... Uh, Lord, may we have Val Dombrowski? And if you need me to read the question again, just tell me, okay? Audience, and the way that we're going to do that is the two League of Women Voters Observers will pass out blank cards. You're to fill in any question you might have for the candidates. I will read off the questions. Uh, they can be to either one candidate or as a whole, um, but you only have 30 seconds, and it's not going to be, because, as I say, we don't want to keep you all here all night. We'll try to pick uh, the questions that are really pertinent to this issue topic tonight, okay? Um, I would like to start first by introducing the candidates. Anybody in the Anyone? audience that you called and said that you would be late? Um, because many of the candidates and people in the audience would like to have your view on the questions tonight. I'm going to ask you the first question. You have two minutes um, to work on ways to to preserve them and to keep our um, history and our historical monuments and homes but not have to oh. You're getting down to our second question. Okay. Um, Okay, we have question number two. I wanted you all to hear it. Uh, as a member of the city council, would you vote for the adoption of an historic ordinance and why? And you have uh, two minutes to answer this question, and then you will have a minute after that as a rebuttal or clarification. <coughs> Thank On you. The second question, Mr. Dancy. In uh, my walking throughout the uh, city for the candidacy of mayor, I've uh, heard one theme. You will have one minute. Barbara, we're, we're going to take a vote. Only the Merle candidates are going to answer these questions. <laughs> you know, I want us all to kind of reflect on how give up a big chunk of their life, their time, energy, and passion to be part of to help serve and do a good job for the citizens of Redondo Beach. So I think at this time I'd like to ask everybody to give these ladies and gentlemen uh, an applause. Now it's quiet. Mr. Dancy, would you like to give us one moment of a closing statement? All of uh all of the actions and all of the things that we've been talking about uh, reflect in action.